by musicians. So you should have just watched the clap it out video and talked about that, which talked a little bit about syllables, which are just the number of sounds in a word. So alligator has four sounds, alligator. So has four syllables, um, something like Mr. Mac has three syllables. So most things, almost every word we say, every word we say has a certain amount of syllables. And in music, we use those syllables too. So when we're singing along, all the words in a song have syllables, but in music, it's called rhythm. So like syllables means the amount of sounds in a word. Rhythm is how many sounds happen in a beat. So we can sort some of these. A snail. A snail is something that would have one sound. Ready? Clap it out. Snail. One sound. And one sound rhythms look like this. This is called a quarter note. And when we're um, speaking these as a musician, we say ta. That's the sound that a quarter note makes. So if we say snail, if we're reading music, we say ta. Okay? Apple. Let's count. Let's clap it out. Apple. That had two sounds. Apple. Apple. Two sounds. And in music, we put it over here, the two sounds. In music, we write that as this. It looks like two ta's stuck together with a line on top called a beam. This is called, these are called eighth notes. So we have a quarter note, a ta, eighth notes, and those sound like this, t, t. So if we were to clap apple in music class, we would say t, t. So if we had a pattern that was snail, apple, instead of saying snail, apple, in music class we say ta, t, t. Okay. And then we have pizza. How many sounds does pizza have? Let's see. Clap it out. Pizza. Two sounds. So that would be a t t sound. Eighth note sound. We have a seagull. How many does that have? Let's see. Seagull. Two sounds. So that would be t t. Look over here. We have a bee. How many sounds does B have? Clap it out. B. One sound. Let's put it over here with the other, with the snails. So these are ta's. B, ta. And one more, cloud. Does cloud have two sounds or one? Let's see. Clap it out. Cloud. One sound. So that's a ta sound. Going with the quarter note sounds. So we have snail, B, ta, cloud. Ta. Our two sound ones we have apple, t t, pizza, t t, seagull, t t. All right, so we have our ta's and our t t's. Let's try and make a pattern. Okay, I'm going to put these ones up here. So if I said cloud, apple, seagull, oh, pickles meowing, b. If this was our pattern down here, We'll leave snail and pizza up here. If we went cloud, apple, seagull, bee, we'd clap it. Cloud, apple, seagull, bee. In music, we would use these. Cloud, apple, seagull, bee. Here, I'll, I'll make this easier. Make another one of these. And instead of saying those words, since we're musicians, we would say ta, t, 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 ta. You try it, ready with me? Ta, t, 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 ta. Good job. And we can change this however we want. So we could swap this out, move this, so we'd have like this. So now we have a uh, apple. Sounds like two, so we're going to move this. Apple, snail, that's a one sound one. 
Seagull is two. Pizza is two. So we'll have to swap this out. Pickle, shh, for this. So our pattern was something like this. Apple, snail, seagull, pizza. Since for musicians, we'd say, T T ta, T T T T. All right, I think you got a hold of it. Now watch the last video and do one last activity. And you're all set for today. And we'll see you next time. Thank you, musicians.